Hello, uh, welcome back. Episode 51 of the Stevenage Career Mode. Yet again, it's been a little while since the last episode. Uh, and that's because I've been doing other things and I've been meaning to do this video. But then I find myself saying, I'll do it tomorrow. Definitely do it tomorrow. And then it, it just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. So I've decided with this career mode, I am going to look to get through the season the rest of the season, I should say, a little bit faster because there's three months left. So we've got one game in February, we've got March, April and May and then we're done. So we're all still in the FA Cup currently. So we've got that game against Manchester City, which will be coming up first. Should be interesting after the game that will beat them in a penalty shootout in the Carabao Cup final. So it'd be great if it would beat them in 90 minutes in this one. Then we're all going to be back in the Europa League. It's going to be against RB Leipzig. Should be decent. We'll be playing both of them games here. I'll play the Chelsea game, but we'll probably leave the rest of the games for the month of March. And then, realistically, with the rest of these episodes, I am just going to look to play the major games. So, Man United, Liverpool, the likes of City. That'll be a big decider because they are currently sitting in first place. And then the last game of the season, Arsenal. Hopefully, there's going to be something around here in regards to the Europa League final and possibly a Carabao Cup final. So, that's how things are going to be going. So as for this episode though, like I say, we're all going to be kicking things off against Manchester City first. It's going to be the second team that's going to be going up against them. The first team weren't able to beat them in 90 minutes. We'll have to take it to a penalty shootout. So I'm hoping the lads are on top form in this one because it'll be decent. It'll be good if we could win the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League and Europa League. It'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good if we could. So enough of the talking. We're just going to get straight in this game. Hopefully, we'll be progressing into the next round. Boom, boom, boom. It's no one by the looks of it. Oh, not the minute. It's meant to be absolutely scorching over the weekend in the UK. It's going to be difficult for everyone to stay in, but stay in. Stay in if you're watching this. Don't be going out and mingling, doing what everyone else is apparently doing. It's not good. It isn't good. You need to be staying in. I would love to be out, having a few bevies. Be our gardens. Love all that sort of crack. Unfortunately, we need to follow the rules. We need to. But, that aside, I'm sure you're sick to death of everyone trying to tell you what to do, but it's just the way it is, unfortunately. There he is, Raheem Sterling. He's probably going to be a bit of a nightmare. Sané always is. Hate playing against Sané on this. I'm hoping the second team, like I say, are going to be on top form. We do have Palacios on the bench, so if we do need him, we'll be looking to bring him on. Fritzen, though, he has been fantastic. And Trincao got his first goal last episode. It'd be great if you could get one on this one. So, let's see what Manchester City have got, eh? Fagnerman getting the block in, that's decent. Fritzen, it's back out. Fagnerman plays it across. Ferreira pots it wide. Great opportunity. Great opportunity, and we've just blown it. Oh, yes, son. What you got? Still got the ball. That's what he's got. Oh, bursting through. He's going to cut it back. Here we lead. He's going to play it across to no one. Jesus Christ. It's through. Ferreira. Great. Ball through. Fritzen. Come on, son. Can he make it one? No. Edison has saved that. I thought that was guaranteed. 1 0 forward there. Was a decent save, like. Suarez with a massive mistake there. Sterling played it across. It's 1 0. Suarez is going to cost us here. Oh, he's on the blower. He's on that blower. I've just scored the easiest goal of my career. Aye. I don't believe that. Suarez, what are you thinking, mate? Look at the state of that man. Suarez was sold Tanganga. I thought, oh, Suarez will be the one to keep when he's doing stuff like that. Don't know whether I sold the wrong person. Great. So quick and often Sterling. Sterling. And again, it's against Juarez. Who hasn't been able to do anything. Balls across. This is going to be 2-0 here. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We were all over Man City in the first half. And just been absolutely hammered in the second. City, they're going to be in again for number three. Jesus, that's it. Game is over, realistically. Get off the phone, mate. We're nah. We're nah, you've hammered. We're. Well, I think not playing FIFA for, a couple, well, a week at least has really made us pay here. I mean, I know it's City, 
don't get us wrong, but I wear man. There was no excuses there. I couldn't blame any players but myself. Just shocking. Is that Juarez again, though? I tell you what, I think that kid's going to go. Need to go for next season, like... Because he's, he's, he has been at fault for every single goal. Every goal Juarez has cost us. And that lad's got his second of the game. But it looks like City are going to be going through in the FA Cup. Well, if things couldn't get any worse, Jesus Ferreira is now out for six weeks with a broken rib. It's in training. Training? What the hell training has he been doing? For a UFC fight or something? What's going on? Like... Well, I don't know, but there you go. That's that's even better. So not only did we get beat 3-0 of City, we've now got Ferreira, one of our best players, injured. Now I don't even know who's gonna be able to fill that position for him. I mean, we could potentially have Messi 2.0 fill that position and then have someone else on the left hand side. I mean, we do still have good old where is he? Gelhart, there he is. We've still got good old Gelhart that could go there, I suppose. Or can Matty play it? No, he can't. Ah, uh, well, we'll have to worry about that after this game against Chelsea, but fantastic. Fa that's just great. That's absolutely great. There you go, though, but Man City, they're on 73 points now, so this game against Chelsea is going to be massively important. We're all going to be playing the first team anyway, so like I say, we'll just worry about uh, Ferreira in the next game, which will be against RB Leipzig, so it is an important match. We're all going to have to play it decent players and yeah that's that's it so what we'll do is we'll attend the press conference and then we'll get into the game but jesus man jesus ferreira man i can't get i just can't get over that can't get over it six bloody weeks man that's practically the rest of the season because it'll take him a while to get his fitness back up all that sort of carry on only a few matches will fight till the end we will fight till the end you won the previous encounter against Chelsea. We'll look forward to another win. Yes, we do. On paper, it looks like Chelsea and Stevenage are in similar abilities. Uh, no, we'll focus on playing well. There you go. There you go. That should be it. Ta very much. You very See you later. Attending. See you later. Um, right, now it's time to get into this game against Chelsea, which is a must win. We need to keep the pressure on uh, Manchester City, especially with them winning their last game. I can't not win anything else this season. It'll be a nightmare that if all wins the Carabao Cup. Well, come on then. We'll get into this. Hopefully, it'll be a different result to that game against City. The Premier League coming right up. Saka. Straight in. Could have went down, but he didn't. It's not one of them. It's not one of them that goes down for nothing because Semenu was saved. I was getting a bit cocky there. Like, I was, oh, Semenu is scoring. And he didn't. He didn't do it, did he? Could have been through his legs, man. How are you? He's decent to menu, you know. He's decent. Should have been scoring there, like. There we go, McAllister. He's going to play the ball to Marino. Marino lays it off. Messi 2.0. Kept out another good save. McAllister. Through to Marino. He's going to wait for Saka. Come on, Saka. Playing it back. It's a cross to absolutely no one. Dest. Palacios turns him, shoots, oh, super <laughs> That was, that was fortunate, that leg, but I'll take it, I will take it. What? Soon? Thought he was going to be doing the Lacazette there, but he wasn't. Wasn't doing the Lacazette celebration. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, super you. Yes. It's a little bit of a different take on that song there, wasn't it? What on the volley? He scored. Top goal scorer in the Premier League for a reason. Fernandez, Pulisic, plays it across to Gilmore. He's trying to find Ossiman, but Brown is there. He is there for him. McAllister through to Marino. Then out in the wing. Run, Saka, run. Come on, son. He's battling. Oh, he might have messed up, yeah. He might have messed up, yeah, because Saka played it through. Palacios across, and Marino on the rebound again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Semenyo. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about soon. Oh, Super Semenyo. Here he is. Remember the name. Remember the name. Very similar to his last goal. Marino, decent block. Easy for him there, man. On the volley yet again. But we're 2-0 up. This is a lot better than that game against City. Like, 
Lots of men. Lots of men. It's done us there. Bit of... Oh, my God. Take a bow, son. That was decent, that like. That was decent. Oh, man. I cannot be angry about that. I need to say that again, though. Absolutely had my life. He's had his life as well. Merit. Didn't expect that, did he? A little bit of finesse. There you go. Have some of that. Cheers. Bloody hell. There you go. Chelsea have pulled one back. We're going to have to look to hold on. Because we need these three points. We need these three points. But either way, that was decent. That was decent. Nice win against Chelsea there. Then we're able to hold on for them three points. Which, like I've said numerous times now, it was massively important to get them. But now we're going up against Urbe Leipzig. I've always called them RB Leipzig. I've never thought it'll be in German. Urbe. There you go. There you go. If you didn't know that, you do now. But I'm just going to stick to calling them RB. There you go. But we need to sort out this injury situation. So Ferreira will be swapping with a Wusu because he can play in that centre forward position. I know it's not centre attack and mid, but that's what I'm going to be looking to go for. And I might play Maurice Luis on the left hand side. And then we're going to be bringing. Good old Gelhart into the subs bench. And that's going to be the team that we're going up against, RB Leipzig. I'm hoping they'll play a hell of a lot better than they did against Manchester City. It is an away game for us. So a couple of away goals will be fantastic because the pressure will be off in the next leg. But we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Oh, massive mistake. Maurice Luis with a great ball through. He's going to play it back. Maurice Luis, come on! 1 0 up. It's only two and a half. Well, two minutes 50 into the game. Amazing. Already 1 0 up. That's what I'm talking about. Massive mistake from RB Leipzig there. And Fritzen, decent pass back. Maurice Luis slotting that away. Well done, Laird. Ooh, Hickey getting that block in, son. Then a terrible pass. Well done, mate. RB Leipzig. Oh, Van Houston. What a tackle, son. That's what I'm talking about. Uwusu. Maurice Luis. Oh, he's bursting through, like. Nice little pass yet again from Maurice Luis. Trin Cow this time. He's going to cut it back. Still, Trin Cow to make it two. Oh, the lads. they turned up. They've turned up, like. 2-0. We're not even, I don't even think we're 20 minutes into the game. But this lad, he's starting to find his feet now. Getting yet another goal for it. But Maurice Luis has been the difference so far. Like, been playing absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've not even noticed Ferreira not being on the pitch at the minute. Which was awful to see. He's still fantastic. Don't worry, he will be coming back. But if we can play like this, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. Like, Hickey, well done, mate. Maurice Luis sending a Wusu. Here's it through. I see you, Trinko. I see you, son. Looking for his second. What a goal, son. What a goal. Yet again, call him on the counter. Trinko, though. Going to be going for a hat trick in this one, leg. Going for a hat trick. A Wusu did our eat there as well, I must admit. But Fritzen, yet again as well, setting up another goal. So he's got two assists. Maurice Luis. He's done the business as well. The lads. I'm, I'm proud of you, lads. I'm proud of you. The Wusu, come on. Maurice Luis. It's through. Fritzen. Oh, my God. Trinkau. Hat trick, son. Come on. Come on. Trinkau. First half hat trick. You absolute legend, son. we we're through, yeah. We are through. There's no chance home game that we will not go through. Trinkau, though. Hat-trick. I knew there was a reason we brought him into the team. And this is it. Stepping up in the big games. It's what we needed. It's what we needed. RB Leipzig, they do not know what has hit them. Yeah, I've got a corner now. What they're going to do with it? Oh. Whipped in at the box. Martinez. It is on the header. And the... Hold one back. Ooh, fair enough. Fair enough, lads. Not really much crowd reaction there, though, was there? 
That was terrible defending yet again. I mean, ball comes in, Martinez. Decent header. I don't know what Matty was doing there. It's like, I, 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 I don't touch us. Ah, watch, watch him. Ball comes in. Should be throwing his body on the lane instead. It's like, ah, uh, just, just turn a little bit. Shocking from a captain as well. Terrible, mate. Trinko. Ball through. Awusu. Still Awusu. Clears it across. Come on. Come on. Maurice Luis gets his second. We've got that four goal cushion yet again. That's what I'm talking about, son. That's what I'm talking about. Decent bit of play from Awusu. Playing it across. Just in time. Maurice Luis bursting at the box. Slotting that away. Oh, I was a little bit concerned when they had pulled one back. I know we still had three goals in my favour, but four's always better, isn't it? Leipzig with a great opportunity here. Got a free kick. Get the lad on the line. Schick. Maurice Luis has got that away. Look that lad that's played absolutely fantastic. We've given him an opportunity to start. He's proven why he should be starting more games. Britson has done nothing there, though. And RB Leipzig are back on the attack. Eduardo. Oh, Eduard. Schick. Eduard Schick is through. And they have done just that. Come on, man. That was shocking. Shocking. Amazing performance from the lads there. Nice 5-2 victory. It was a bit unfortunate that Leipzig did get them two goals. But I am just going to be simming this last game. And it's going to be the second team yet again. I think they deserve it because they played so well in that first leg. And I reckon we should be going through. I've got no concerns about this. I mean, unless Leipzig turn it on and the smash were 4-0 or something like that. But I'm hoping. Come on. 1-1. One, one, I'll take that. I will take that every day of the week. We've drawn. Fritzen picking up the only goal for us. Uh, Edward picking up the only goal for Leipzig. But that means we are through. We've beat them 6-3 on aggregate, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm, I am quite happy with that. Now, let's have a little look and see who we are getting in the quarterfinals, should be interesting to find out who it's going to be. I'm hoping it's it's favoured with Napoli. Na we can beat Napoli. We can definitely beat Napoli. I am quite happy with that. So we've also got Liverpool and Wolfsburg who have went through. Fiorentina and Inter Milan. And then Chelsea and Roma. Out of them, we're, we're winning the Europa League. Like We are winning this Europa League. Mark my words. Stevenage will be lifting that Europa League title. Or cup. Whatever you want to say. But there you go. That is going to be the end of the episode. In the Premier League, we're currently sitting in second place, as you can see, which is decent. Only one, one point behind Manchester City. And they are the second last game of the season. So that will be massively important. As for top goal scorer, Super Semenyo is still top with 23 goals, which is ideal. He's only played 22 games, man. He just he does it every single season. He turns up. Pepe in second with 21. Then Salah with 20 but Super Semenu will be lifting that golden boot I've got no concerns about that either there you go if you've enjoyed this episode drop a little like if you're all new to the channel maybe drop a sub made a joke in the last one about it being foot long BMT so just remember that if you do choose to sub there you go but as always I will be seeing you in the next one